All right, let's see what happens here. Is that osmium? No, that's cobalt. Whoa. This is weird, dude. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of exploration. And I'm um I, I'm I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking I want to start working on our permanent base, uh, or at least a uh, a more a more permanent base. And I decided to as carefully as I possibly could without you know, without spoiling too much, uh, you know, too many things, I, I really need to kind of know how this waterfall thing is going to turn out uh, in order then to figure out, you know, what to do about the base. Um, so I, I so I looked up on the wiki, but again, I was I was really careful to try not to read t too much information. But from what I understand, this mountain here is where the waterfall is going to occur. Um, and it looked to me from uh, the picture that I saw, the screenshot, that this whole area here, possibly even up to and including the pod, is going to be underwater, you know, when it's all said and done. Um, so, so what that means then is... I, I'm not, I, I don't really want an underwater base. I mean, that could be kind of be cool, I suppose, but you know, that's something maybe we could do in a future playthrough or something. So I'm just trying to decide how, you know, how I want to do this. Now, you know, this, I'm going to assume, and this is an assumption, I could be wrong, because again, when I looked at the screenshot, it looked like that water level was really high. Um, but. I'm going to kind of assume, do I have, yeah, I've got O2. In fact, yeah, let's just use our O2 here, um, that this plateau way up here is going to be above the water line, um, uh, which was kind of where, you know, where I was thinking we would do the permanent base anyways, or at least the a, a, a more permanent base. Uh, the reason I keep saying a more permanent base is because, um, you know, we can, we, we can build bases wherever the hell we want to. <laughs> uh, and I might want something a little more central, but I, I want a base at this this waterfall for sure, regardless of if the whatever we build here does indeed become our permanent base. Um, and it also looked to me like the water is going to flow that direction, kind of down into where it will form the lake. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm going to assume that this area up here is going to be above the waterline uh, and then this all of this lower area including where our current base is is potentially going to be underwater um, so that being the case then with uh, the assumption here um, I want to start gearing up to, to, to make that happen um, but I don't think we're going to do that in this episode. I, 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 we're going to explore a couple of things in this episode. So let's get back. Uh, let's get back to the base and and get ready to do that. Um, there's a couple of things. There, there's there's two or three things I want to do. Um, I was over in that area, just gathering, and I noticed that what looked to be a cave down into an underground area. Uh, with like some big mushrooms and if that specifically means among other things that we can get mushrooms then we will replace our eggplant with mushrooms because mushrooms give us more food than eggplant does um, I also want to go inside that cave and see what the hell's going on in there and we saw a big huge ship way off to the east there that I would like to investigate as well so I think this is going to primarily be an exploration episode all right, so I, I picked these, uh, all of these guys. Uh, I put up another uh, storage locker here, 
and we've got an abundance of food now which is just absolutely gorgeous um, thing this is all of these are, are full with their assigned ores uh, at the moment we have a little bit of overflow here too for the aluminum and um, I haven't done anything else you know in terms of setting up more heaters or any of that stuff for the, for the knots but we will we will definitely be doing that okay so let's go ahead and we've got two waters let's make a third water uh, no we only need one sorry and I'm gonna I want to also make another O2 in fact we should probably make several more O2 bottles because I'm not I'm just not sure how far away we're gonna we're gonna get okay so that gives us it gives us four O2 bottles I used up all of the rest of, okay I used up all the rest of the cobalt um we have the we have the tier three tank right yeah we do okay all right I tell you what we're gonna do then um I mean I suppose the smart thing to do would be to bring materials to to make shacks um you know that we can get air in so yeah let's do it let's do that um, okay, so I, I always re forget what we need for this. So we need three iron, two titanium. Oh, no, sorry. Three iron, two titanium. And one silicon to make one building with a door. So let's take enough iron to make two buildings. So that's three, uh, six iron, four titanium. And two silicon and then if we want to put a station in each one of those we need an extra iron and an extra silicon extra iron and extra silicon okay so the so the goal here is going to be to explore um more than it is going to be to gather or anything like that and just kind of see you know uh, what what we have to work with we'll make one more water and let's top off our food. And let's just take this water now and we'll take one extra food with us to try and stretch that out as much as possible. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna check out this mushroom place uh, that I saw. And uh, again, if that means we can get mushroom seed, that's gonna be a step in the uh, a step upward. So I don't remember exactly where I saw that. I think it might have been over around in here ish no not there uh, might be further over that direction let's top off our o2 yeah I think it might be over this way so yeah we'll do a little bit of exploring in this episode <laughs> Kind of see what there is to see there's a lot more for us to explore um and that's part of the the joy of this game yeah look at that okay so oh that pink stuff looks a little weird let's save the game just in case something you know like falling through the world kind of situation occurs here okay no it's loading in Oh, wow, this is crazy. I had no idea this was here, you guys. I wonder I wonder if this is going to be... Um, oh, we just got an achievement. Mushrooms River. That's what this place is called. I wonder if this is going to be completely underwater. Oh, wait. There is water. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. Is that water? What in the world? It sure seems like water. Is there any way we can tap into it? Oh, this is a trip. I didn't even know this existed in the game. Okay, here, we got to get a screenshot, first of all. Uh, let's get up a little higher here. And we'll turn the HUD off. 
Awesome. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's explore this place. See, uh, see what kind of resources they have. Um, I wonder if we can make a, like a water extractor. I, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's something like that. Uh, okay. Let's, let's just eat this now. And we'll... Wow, there's something cool over there. Okay, here, let's... Uh, we're not going to make it. That's right. I was going to say, let's put our first little shack down. Uh, but we're going to do that anyway. And we'll put a door here. And we'll put a uh, crafting station. All right. If we can, we can just remake that oxygen thingy that we had to consume... Yeah, like I said, I mean, I, I've I purposefully not watched anybody else play this game or read up on, you know, on the um, the updates because I want it to all be a surprise. Look at this. Well, this definitely implies, right, that that somebody else has been here before us. Open Warden's Altar. Whoa. Warden's Key. This strange device seems to be used to open a mechanism. 464, 40, 97. Those appear to be coordinates. I'm going to take a screenshot of that, too. Okay. Look at this ginormous mushroom tree, man. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's keep looking around here. I want to know how this water got down here. <laughs> We're supposed to be terraforming this planet. How did that happen? Let's replant our oxygen. All right. Um. Let's see. So, our the entrance that we came down is pretty much to the to the southwest, right? Didn't we come down? Yeah, more or less the southwest. So we need to kind of remember that, you know, uh, for getting out of here. Unless there's another way in or out. Okay. So let's kind of go to the northeast then. And just look around here. I don't know, you know. I, I as far as I'm aware, there isn't a mechanism in this game to harvest natural mushrooms. Uh, we have to find the seed packets. I think this place is pretty damned expen uh, extensive, expensive, <laughs> extensive. Is there anything in this deeper water? Yes. Oh man, why are we keep getting eggplant seeds? Damn it! <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, let's take this. Uh, I'm gonna put the magnesium back, and we'll take that seed. We don't have to worry about O2 because we're already in an oxygen uh, suit here. Oh, did okay. Have we reached the other end of the biome? Kind of looks that way. This is not so. Okay. Let's go uh let's go around this way, I suppose. And see if we can find any more blue crates. Uh there's some more docks or something down there. And keep looking in the water too for more chests. Here we go. Uh all right, we got some uranium and some cloth and some water. Let's take the water right now. I want the uranium and the cloth in place of the... Uh, let's eat the eggplant right now, too. Oh, we should get that Pestera seed as well. So let's take an O2, because we can easily make another one. And the rest of that stuff's not that big a deal. I might come back for it in the future, or I might not. Wow, this is, like, really steep here. Let's see if we can kind of scooch around over on this side. So yeah, you know when when we see stuff like this, again, it's uh, it's just very reminiscent of Subnautica, and that's not a bad thing. You know, this game is its own game enough to where it's not a complete copycat of Subnautica, but you know, it does definitely have that that feel to it. All right, 
so there's our, our shack down there. It doesn't appear that there's any special resources down here, though. It's just uh, it's just the basic stuff, you know, as far as the resources goes. That must have been where we came out. Okay, let's go replin our O2, and then we'll just investigate that side. Did I already look in here? Yes, I think we did. Uh, I'd like to take the cloth, but here, let's just do this. Let's make a chest in here. Um, do I have... Yeah, I've got three. We'll make the... Oh, yeah, we did unlock the biomass thing, too, so we need to start setting those up. But, yeah, yeah, we will start setting those up. So let's put all of... I don't think we need another house down here, so let's put that stuff in there. Uh, we'll, we'll put the Warden's Key in here. I'm sure that's going to come into play at some point later. Um, just really offload all of this stuff in here for the moment. Okay, we'll grab the rest of the stuff out of this chest. And get the iron from it. Let's make another O2. All right. Did we look under the water here? No. Okay, let's explore around this side, and let's also look under this water for a chest. I don't see anything. So yeah, I, I, I'll bet this whole entire place, I mean, it would have to be completely flooded once the water comes, right? I mean, how could it not be? Unless the entrance, I guess, that we went in is not, is that another entrance? I don't think so. Uh, it will be above, you know, the lake, which I guess is possible. All right, let's go around this way. There's another chest. Okay. We'll hang on to the space food. For, oh, there's more stuff over here. Look at this. Um, I'm getting a little framey here. Like stuff's trying to load in. What is this thing? Oh, so that's the warden's altar. Oh, wait. Hold on, though. Right, we got to put the key in there. Okay, we'll go back and get it. What is this business? That's a doorway, you guys. Oh. The plot thickens. All right, let's uh read this message. This underground cave is a blessing for us, the wardens. There's a lot of resources, and it's underground, allowing us to stay hidden from outer space. This planet has been choosing uh, or has been chosen really carefully, and now I understand why. I can't wait to start the building of our settlement and fulfill our destiny. All right. Trippy. Anything down here? They had a water wheel. Yeah, here we go. Oh, what the hell is that? A golden crate? Wow. Okay. A 600% oxygen multiplier and a golden effigy. 300% oxygen multiplier. What happens if we deconstruct this? We get aluminum and a super alloy. I, You know what? Now that I think about it, I remember something about there being golden crates in this game, but I've never come across one until now. Okay, let's go back to our, our shack here. Drop off, replenish our O2 grab that key and see what happens when we open that door this is fun man <laughs> i really enjoy this new mysteries to solve new things to explore i'm really glad they you know added some of this stuff to the game so it's not just solely about you know terraforming even though that's the main thing right just look and see if there are any other crates down here All right. 
nifty. So we need to go. Yeah, there's our there's our place right there. Uh, did we look underneath this water here? Yeah, it's too bad we can't like drink this water. Maybe it's poisonous though. It is. It is pink. <laughs> that uh, either means it's pink lemonade or it's a uh, deadly poison, right? All right, let's replenish our oxygen here. All right, I want to put all this stuff in here except for you, and let's grab this key. Why don't we take a space food right now to top that off? Right click to build. That's interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, we got the key, right? Okay, let's go open that thing up and see what happens. It's, you know, I would not have ever had a clue that this place was down here. I just happened to be, you know, gathering resources in, in, in that area. And I looked down there and said, wow, that's, uh, that looks different. <laughs> um, so... It's very possible that we could have played this whole game and never knew, known this was down here. So that's kind of neat, you know, that that happened. We just, I guess that, you know, the lesson there is be super observant and look under every nick and cranny. All right, let's see what happens here. Is that osmium? No, that's cobalt. Whoa. I hope this is not something that we shouldn't be doing right away. But again, if the whole place is going to be underwater, not that, that that shouldn't stop us, but still. This is weird, dude. Absolutely no idea this was here. Uh, uh, there's something over... Uh, okay, yeah, there's like these two... Tablet places and then a doorway that goes off to the left with something. And one that goes off to the right. Okay. Uh, let's pop one of these. Read the message. After all these years, all the suffering... We decided to leave our home soil, go as far away as possible to build a new home, far away from the terror, far away from the strife, far away from them, to stay hidden and live our life as we did for centuries. We carefully chose somewhere we could be safe, gathered the last of our kind um, in our biggest vessel, and on a fateful night we left, fleeing their never-ending in insatiability more than themselves. A warden. Don't know what the year is. Okay, what's this one say? At first, we were struck by the resemblance. We were almost exactly the same. Our scientists told us it was because of our celestial bodies uh, were identical in every way, so our evolution, while independent, was similar in every way. This was like meeting a cousin you never knew you had. Brothers, they even called us, when they started to land on Threha. Uh, a few spaceships that turned into dozens, and slowly our worries grew. Our main differences were hidden deep inside. Biologically, we were identical, but our minds had been shaped differently. Because of fate or by nature, the fact is when we realized it, it was already too late. Wow, that is crazy. Okay. Um. All right, let's go see what, what's in here. Another key? Open the warden's altar. Another key with new coordinates. Okay, let's take another screenshot. Right, there's nothing else in here. Let's go see what's in here. Oh my goodness. Is this like a whole underground... Is that a ship or a village? How do we get to it? don't think we're supposed to go down there. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
Um. How are we supposed to get to that? Or are we supposed to get to that? Okay, wait a minute. We grabbed another warden's key. Where where would we put that? It looks like there might be an opening or something over there. In fact, yeah, that's got to be an opening. Especially if you look at it kind of in the peripheral. All right, I don't know where we're supposed to put this warden's key. So let's go back this way. It doesn't appear to go in either one of these things. This is where we grabbed it. Yeah, no, that's not right. Okay. Uh... I guess a mystery for another time, huh? I, I'm, I'll am i tell you what, I'm kind of half tempted to... to just jump off that ledge and see what happens <laughs> for science, right? Um, can we build a... a building here for, uh, for O2 replenishment? I just need some iron. Uh, there's some iron. Let's see here. That's titanium. Titanium. Oxygen levels low. Silicon. We don't need any more of that. Just need to find some more iron is all. That's our last uh, O2. All right, where the hell is all the iron at? Pretty sure that's going to be a titanium. Silicon, silicon. Doesn't seem to be a, an abundance of iron down here. Here we go. I think we needed four in total because I also want to make the uh, a crafting station too. That's silicon. All right, let's work our way back to our our shack on this end so we can replenish our air and make some more O2 bottles. Okay, so we need three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that way we can also make a, a storage there too. Um, let's eat this food. And... I think we have everything we need, except for let's grab some more cobalt so we can make a couple more O2 bottles. Grab an extra iron too, because there doesn't seem to be a lot of iron on that end of the cave. Okay, we still have three water bottles, so we're doing pretty good on water. So let's go back. We'll set down a, a building. And then I'm just, I'm just going to go back in there one more time and see if there's something I possibly missed for getting across to that ship. But it could be a situation where we're not supposed to be able to get to it yet. Um, or if this place does indeed become completely flooded later on, you know, maybe we swim to it. I don't know.
Is that another way out? Okay, yeah, we, we should investigate that. That could be another way out. But let's get our, our building set up first. Not let me. Uh, okay, let me do that. Guess we'll do it that way. Okay, good. Um, we'll put these things in there. Let's make. more O2 bottles. I just need one more cobalt. Do we look down here? I think we did. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go back in here from again um, and see if just if we missed anything. I mean, we have this key. And my guess is that the key would be used to extend a bridge over to that wreck. But I don't see anything else in here. There's no apparent side passages in here or anything else. Maybe there's another route to get to that ship. I don't know. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to assume that jumping off of here is not a good idea. So we're going to just hang on to this key until we figure it out. Because I'm not. there's nothing else in this room as far as I can tell. We, we just got these two altar thingies here. Oh, we didn't look behind this other one. We really can't look behind it. And then we just have this room here that has nothing apparent in it besides the altar itself. And some coordinates. Okay. Which I took a screenshot of. Actually, hold on. Let me look at something. All right. Grab that. Uh, I want to investigate this other spot there that looks like it could be another way out. And if so, you know, where does it lead to? Yeah, it sure looks that way, doesn't it? Okay. Whoop. Oh, it leads into this biome. Okay. All right, so it leads into our, our silver biome. Good to know. All right, we're going to go back in and grab uh, all the loot, or as much of it as we can carry anyways, from our first building. Take it back to the base. I wonder if there um, are also entrances on the opposite sides. Not sure. Oh, 
Okay. Um, anything that's easily gotten up above, we'll keep down here for now, which is basically all of that. We want the uranium and these two massive oxygen producing seeds. I guess we'll take the eggplant and then after that kind of doesn't matter. Uh, maybe an extra iron. We'll leave the rest of this stuff down here. Okay, let's go. So I think we we want to go up this way. Yeah. Well, we didn't find uh, any mushroom seeds down here, which is kind of sucks, but we did find a golden chest with the oxygen things and some new mysteries for us to solve. Very cool. All right, let's uh, let's run home, drop this stuff off, and then I just want to take a peek inside that cave before we wrap up uh, today's episode. Okay, before we set out, let's... Uh, do our next uh, harvest of crops here and uh, we are making some good progress too we're 76 percent of the way to towards the clouds stage uh, and i believe once we get clouds then we start seeing rain and then we start seeing water accumulation um okay so yeah let's put all these in here we now have an abundance of food finally 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 let's eat one of those right now to get ourselves pop topped off um, we have three waters, so that should be good enough. All right, let's go see what this cave is about. And again, my understanding is that this is going to be the waterfall. I kind of would have guessed that, but of course I had no way to know that for sure. Uh, this will all definitely be underwater, so no doubt about that. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this air, uh, upper area here won't won't be underwater guess guess we'll just have to wait and find out i don't want to look into it really anymore because i don't want to spoil anything you know okay this really goes way back in here uh you know the other thing too now that we're heating the planet up some of the blocked caves are probably gonna become unblocked for us and usually that means we get a little bit better resources. Okay, there's some kind of structure or something back here. Or wreckage. Are those headstones? Or a grave robber. Huh. They kind of appear to be headstones, don't they? Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. Um I think that's stuff that we'll we'll take back and recycle once we make the recycler. There's there isn't anything I can do with it right now. And it's all tier one stuff anyways. Or well I guess that's a tier two, but we already have that. What a deal. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like we have something to read here. What was supposed to be fun, relaxing, uh, a fun, relaxing time turned out into a nightmare. A five-week space cruise across the lesser-known parts of the universe. Unfortunately, our stupid crew was not able to respond to a seemingly minor incident, and here we are, burying the few bodies we were able to retrieve from the burning wreck. What will happen to us now will most certainly be similar. We are heading west and see, and see how long we can survive. I would say a few days at most. Some survivors of the Cinetat 2, at least for now. Interesting. I love the story stuff. Okay. Um, all right, so that's what's inside of the waterfall place. Once we get the recycle, uh, recycle station set up, we'll come back in here, grab that stuff, and turn it into to stuff. But, uh, yeah. All right. This was a fun episode, guys. Really enjoyed it. And um, 
So I think what we'll do in the next episode is we're going to start. It's kind of weird how the collision is on that. Uh, we're going to start moving. Uh, well, I, I don't know that we're going to move anything. I think we're going to keep everything over there just where it is. And we're going to start building a new, more permanent settlement up on that plateau up there. That is the plan anyways for the next episode. If if I if I knew ultimately how this lake was going to form it would be kind of cool, you know, to to build on the lake or over the lake. And that's even still a possibility too, you know. Um maybe we could have like a little lake house or something to that effect. Uh so we'll just kind of see how that all comes together. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.